Hello everybody, it's Torrin here from Weber Gaming, and welcome back to episode 2 of how to program bucket plugins for absolute beginners. Now, as I said in the last tutorial, this isn't for very, 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 very beginners. You need to know a basic understanding of Java, how it works, what some of the code does, like parentheses, semicolons, public, final, public, basic, all of that sort of stuff. Public, basic is just my project name. Don't ignore that. You need to know hash maps, you need to know booleans. You need to know a basic understanding of it. As I said, go check out Lenny Boston's video. He does it very well and he will teach you extremely well with it. So now, uh, we're going to go and edit the basic. We're going to code into the basic class file. Now, in your basic.java, this is where all the beef of your project happens. It defines your imports, it starts the class, it has your public class, of course, it has, well, it's going to define all of the other class files. So, for example, the basic.java is going to define the player list now, it's going to define the block list now, which we will get into in other videos so don't worry about those just yet it's going to define what happens when the plugin is enabled it's going to define what happens when the plugin is disabled it registers events it does a lot of stuff so you need to get this main class file correct so what we're going to do is well up here the public class basic this is starting the class so what we need to do is we've got public class basic we need it to extend I can spell it right the Java plugin. Now if you just type this normally, the Java plugin is going to throw up some errors and I put extend instead of extends. The Java plugin is going to throw up some errors, that is because you haven't imported Java plugin. So import this from org.bucket.plugin.java. If you don't have to import, just hover over the error and it should show you some fixes of what you can do. That's the great thing about Eclipse, it's because it's, it is just Java based, it's centered around Java. I might have that wrong, don't quote me on it, but it's centered around Java, so it will specialize in some errors. It will tell you what is wrong with your code. Unless you really have screwed up in your code, it won't know what's wrong with it. And I've done that. I think everyone who has programmed for Bucket has done that once, or at least once. So import the Java plugin, and there you go, it shows an import up here. And that import is very, very crucial, so keep that there. Do not delete it. And why is that throwing up errors? Ah, that's because I haven't made a class file for it yet, so leave that. Right, so now we're going to be defining some of our other listeners. Now, what the, we, uh, the plugin we're going to be creating is the same as Sam here, it's just a revamped version. Whenever the player places a torch in Minecraft, it's going to send them a message saying, you place a torch. Now, for this, we're going to need a player listener and a block listener. As I said, I'm not explaining these at the moment. I will get into them in another tutorial when I create the class. So, what we need to do is we need to type private final basic. Sorry, I, <laughs> I was wondering where I was getting some errors there. Basic listener. And what this is doing, this is defining the basic player listener. Without this, our other class file wouldn't know what to do. Without a defined class file, it's just sitting there, not doing anything, it's going to be idle. If you define it here, it knows it's going to have to hook into the class, into the player listener and read that code. So whenever you yeah, load up the plugin, it's going to storm through this code and it's going to recognize the private final basic player listener. And it's going to pick up on that and it's going to run through the player listener code as well. So I spelled private wrong, so let me correct that. And no. There we go. Right. Basic player listener, then you type player listener equals new. And this is just signifying that it is a new defined, uh, sorry, a new defined class file. Then we type basic, I can type again, player listener this. And that this is just there to tell you that it is this, if that makes sense. So obviously we're going to have errors thrown up because we haven't got a basic play in the listener yet. It's not going to recognize it. So just for reference, just so you know what you're doing uh, when you're looking into your code in the future, if you type two slashes, that defines an annotation. Now, Eclipse will not read annotations. I'm sure Java and Bucket will never read annotations. It ignores them. And annotations are typically used when multiple co coders are working on a plugin at once. 
so they know how it's compressed they know where specific part of the code starts for example if you go into bucket and open it up in like a JDGY uh, that allows you to see compressed code um, it has craft bucket start and that allows the members of craft bucket to know where the pl where craft bucket starts I don't know if I've got that right but that's what it seems like so if you're new to this and you're confused about what the code is doing double tap the forward slash button and just type defined player listener type around I'm typing this quickly so now you know that bit defined a player listener you can always look at that annotation and know what it did so pretty simple okay what we're gonna do now is the same private final basic block listener and again just type block listener like that equals new basic block listener and this actually that bit should be like that keep try and keep your code as tidy as possible don't do what I just did there like keeping that down there because it just looks wrong in it they're, when there are multiple lines it's hard to recognize which bit of code is which like for example you could easily mistake this to be a different line of code from that so as I was doing make sure you keep the relevant code on the same line that seems pretty easy but a lot of people get it wrong and I put the semicolon on inside the brackets again with Java it's very very frustrating when you get something wrong because something as simple as a parenthesis can screw all of your code up I mean Sam here have done it many 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 times it is extremely frustrating to be outwitted by a piece of punctuation now as I said anything you're doing has to be in between these two parentheses so for example we are defining the public class and we are working in the public class defining it working it, it doesn't matter we are working in the public class that means they need to be in these two parentheses okay so now you've defined the block listener and the player listener what we're going to need to do is we need to create a hash map called basic users now what hash map does is it stores users information alright as I said the hash map is a way of storing the values in the form of a key value or a pair so what we need to do is underneath our bit where we type this we want to type public ah, where am I final hash map hyphen player array list hyphen block God, I hate it when Eclipse does this. It creates too many of these. Uh, it always creates too many brackets or greater than or less than signs. I don't know the official name for them. But it always seems to generate one extra than I actually need. And you're going to come across that. So let's type one of these more in. And then we're going to define it. So it'll be basic users equals new hash map. Let's cover that and put that there. Alright, the reason why we have so many areas here is because we haven't imported the hash map. And again, just hover over it, click import hash map. There you go, that will remove some areas. Player hasn't been imported from bucket. Just hover over that. It doesn't matter, that's important. I'll just type into the. Uh, that's why, because it's bloody case sensitive, isn't it? Let's type P. So we should have some areas. Yep, you need to import player from bucket, so make sure you do that. Okay, why is array list have an error? because we need to import the array list why does block have an error? because you need to import the block from bucket now again don't import block from the net minecraft server you need to import everything from bucket so it might seem tempting to go oh look minecraft is the original let's import that straight away no you need to import the bucket one it makes more sense to it it's easier to so import bucket and we have one last error with the hash map and that error is because I haven't done the caps properly. Again, that is a typical reason why Java is extremely annoying when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, capitals. It's so case sensitive. If I just type player, that's not going to register. Sometimes it has to be player if you're defining it. It can't be a capital P for player if you're going to do an event. It has to be lowercase. It's all extremely, extremely annoying. So again, we're going to put in some more annotations. This one is defined, not defined, the block listener. It's always useful to have your definitions there. So, uh, I mean definitions, your annotations. And we are 
creating the hash map. Again, the hash map is a way of storing values in like a pair or a value, something like that. It's a way of storing it. Uh, create the hash map. Let's keep that there. And what we're going to do next is we're creating the hash map, uh, hash map debuggies. So to create the hash map debuggies, you type private final funeral hash gash. I can't type today. It's it's just the recording which seems to make me type weird. I don't know why it just is. But again, player. And I'm just going to throw a little disclaimer out there. This all might seem confusing if you have literally just jumped into this video without any Java knowledge. I've stated a few times before, you're going to need to know basics about Java. This tutorial might be beginners, but I'm aiming this at beginners for people who've just finished watching the new Boston tutorial, who've just finished watching other like C++, all of those languages who want to convert to Java, who know some basics about programming language. Now, again, all of this hash map array list you know, all the basic users, private final, public final, that's all going to seem extremely confusing if you're a new member, new member and new developer. You need, 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 I can't stress this enough, to go and watch some better tutorials than myself, because I'm just teaching you how to set the plugin out, how Bucket deals with the plugin, Bucket value, yeah, values, variables. As I said, you're going to need to look at some uh, basic tutorials. If you're still watching this and you don't know a single dicky bird about Java, just pause the video now, go watch some tutorials on it, and I'll guarantee you'll learn something from the new Boston because he's very good at what he does. No, I'm not branded by him at all, I'm just, just saying it. I, that's where I learn and it's the best thing to do. So if you already know what you're doing, I apologize for ranting on, let's go on. You want to do a boolean. Now what a boolean does is, you obviously already know if you're a good developer, is it sets the value to true or false. So with the debugger, you see if you're going to set it to true or false when it's debugging. Okay, so we'll put that there. Debug ease. Put debug is in. Equals new. Hash map. Put a less than. That's a greater than sign. Sorry, I'm going to put player. Hyphen. Not a hyphen. I actually can't speak or read any punctuation today. So let's get rid of that. And we just need to put boolean and end that there. And again, I've put the code down here by accident, so let's move that back up. There we go. No errors on that, which is looking great. Okay, so what we've basically done there is put the annotations again. Create hash map debuggy. And that's your hash map from here. So in today's tutorial, what we have created is we've started the main main bit body of you know the Java file. So at the top, just a recap here, we have the package, which is me.torrent.basic. We have imported all of the needed imports, all of the you know, needed uh, values and variables of bucket, uh, the Java plugin, the array list, the hash map, the block, the player. And we have started our main class inside the parentheses again. We have defined a paste there, basic player listener, we have defined a block listener, we have created a hash map, and we have created the hash map debuggy. So if you're still following this, make sure you tune in for next episode where we're going to be going on to the on enable and on disable. And they activate obviously when the plugin is enabled and when the plugin is disabled. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to see more, make sure to like, comment, rate, whatever. Just Subscribe for the next episode. Uh, if it's helping you, leave a comment in the description. Leave a comment on what I can do better, how we can improve. If you want to see more videos at a quicker pace on this, just let me know. I love making them. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you for episode three. All right, bye.